Hello and welcome to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, the Overmodded Edition. We are here after a devastating victory where we just stuck a sniper on a building and he just tore people apart. They kept trying to poison us and mess with us in various ways, but it just did not matter. Too much umph on our people. I would almost feel bad for Advent at this point if, you know, Avenger plotting new course. Things weren't just about to get worse and worse. We keep dropping back their force level as well. That's the mod I'm probably going to take out as well because as we get stronger, as we get more victories, it's actually making it. Holy crap, it's so hot on this continent. In this area, I guess, that it actually took some of our supplies from us. I didn't know there was so much heat here. It says low. Hmm. Maybe it just looks like a worldwide thing. That's a pain. But whatever, we still have over a thousand dollars. Planning to keep us rolling for a little while, especially once we grab this intel. Hey, Inspector Autopsy. What do we get? I totally forget. It's been so long since I've autopsied one. Vampire rounds? Okay. Active camouflage, reveal can see. Okay, so it gives your soldiers phantom, basically. Uh, nano machines harvest life from its victims to heal the shooter. Use materials recovered from the specter allows the soldier to instantly enter concealment. And build an enigma drone. Compared to the advent, they have easier time avoiding attacks. Signature drone stunner. They can mark targets and improve stealth. So it's just another drone that we can throw at our enemies to uh, help do things. Ooh whole lot of stealth stuff you get from the Spectre Autopsy. Super interesting. But nothing but what we need right now. Yeah, the Warlock's nuts. And I, I forgot we have to go after him at some point as well. Let's get these bio rocket troopers uh, researched real quick. Should have taken a day, and then after that we can uh, proceed. One Brood Gauntlet. Might be the only one we get. Seems to work on a symbiotic connection with the gauntlet wearer. Oh, so this is just the tongue we ripped out of her mouth. That's right. Eesh. You got any more cores? We have one. We can get something nice. We have this Orion battle suit. It's not the same as the uh, one that we got from the Chosen Hunter. It just you know, happens to be the same name from a different mod, which, eh, you know, whatever. I'm not too bothered by it. Also, I think we put this off long enough. Let's get battlefield medicine. Our people deserve that. We have no we're running kinda low on Illyrium and alloys, and we have no more cores, and that's uh not the biggest of a problem as it sounds, I think. Now I'm thinking about it. I can't really get these off the screen, and that's a pain in the ass. Sometimes they get hidden away by things like this. Ooh. We may steal bio poison acid rockets from them. That sounds pretty cool. And I think we finally hit that point where it's time to upgrade our uh, our armor again. Twenty one days, but I will send word as soon as we have something. Of our super soldiers will get another bump in defensive and offensive power as their armor gets upgraded yet again. Forty five intel. It's not as much as I was hoping for. Hmm. Enemy units lose one action on the next turn and discovered on the XCOM turn. It's like a mini stun on the entire enemy squad that gets discovered. We can go ahead and grab that in a minute. We don't need a soldier. We can probably just spend a chunk of intel here and be fine, right? Maybe we'll finish off, uh... Finish off Asia. Go ahead and grab that. How much? 160. E. How about we put a tower here for 250? We have we have the funds. We'll do that, and then we will do an 80 intel grab on that, and that opens up uh, more stuff in that direction. I think that's fine. To need your training, you keep going forever. Mm, no word. That sounds fancy enough. Sounds like it'll be something incredible for us. 
Let's take a look at our barracks. We're just kind of doing things right now to fill time. What can we do? We could throw the uh, N7 squad at a problem. See what our options are on that front real quick. I think one of these. 18 enemies detected. It's all bio stuff and this is guarding some alien thing. Bio Zerker. Could the N7 people hang with bio Zerkers? What about this place? 21 Broodmother. Advanced Titan. Heavy Anti-Riot Mech. Utah Commandos. That one actually sounds worse. We may... yeah. We may do that. We also have the, just the Codex. Jesus, that's 32 enemies. And the Black Site. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of baddies. Crystal at a Hive Drone, that's not too bad. Eh, you know, it's a lot of them, but it, it, whatever's there is not too terrible to deal with. And then of course there's the Chosen Hot... Oh, hold on, crap. Sectoid Prime Soldier. I haven't seen a Prime in a while. And then a whole new enemy we have never seen. I think... I think it might be time to go for this facility. I'm feeling this, you know? It's only 16, and all we have to do really is sabotage the facility, so... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Let's go for it. We'll throw N7 at it, we'll give them a bunch of our really powerful guns and equipment to supplement their low rankings, and maybe this will be enough to level them up. Alright, uh, you guys are being a bit greedy. Let's, uh, let's get you out of there, bring the N7 people, gear them up, and once I do that, I will see all of you people on site. Alright. Here we are. We're here with the full N7 squad, and uh, they're pretty bulked up on armor and abilities, so I'm feeling pretty confident in what they're going to be able to do. They have a little bit more of uh, individuality now, so we're going to leverage what we can and start having them go into their character. Got eyes on a hostile squad. Well, hello. Holy crap, he's so good at stealth with the Phantom Driver and the programming stuff, I can literally walk by them if I wanted to. That is incredible. Hmm. And on the flip side, we have our boy here with the shield. Not the stealthiest man there is, so. Let's see if we can find a path. There's one right there. We'll stick you here for now. Looks like he's got a reload, that's strange. Uh, our lady here has Sabotage, guaranteed to hit, can't crit. Low damage, free action shot, but applies confusion and deactivates weapons. And the cooldown goes down every time I throw a grenade. Uh, and we gave her a ton of grenades. Oh no. Oh no, she's suffering from Susanna Syndrome. The grenade launcher that we gave her is not letting her throw grenades. Something is going on with her character. That's a problem. What's the normal cooldown? Three turns. I guess we're just going to have to lean on that and we'll have to fix that next time we play with her. However we need to do that. Ugh. Moving out. We'll get it figured. We will get it figured. Biotic teleport as well. And he has a charge ability on top of that. There's no reason to go whole hog with that just yet. Let's just... Let's work on our positioning. And then next turn we will go, uh, next turn we go whole, full hog on them. Will do. Our captain here has got the chiller and the chosen katana. Ashley Carpenter has got, uh, all of the armor and a few toys to make up for her lack of her own biotic abilities at the moment. Already there. They actually straight up cannot find us. That's remarkable. And go tickle them and position confirmed. Man, that is nuts. Let's go back here. Now that I'm not afraid of being found out by anyone or anything. Why can't you see into there? Alright. 
a chunk of those are probably going to be, uh, oh, something's pissed them off. A bunch of those troopers are probably going to end up being, um, what you call it, bio faceless in disguise. Huh, so nice, he took the ladder down. I guess they found whatever the ruler is. I didn't think there was an enemy squad like Cerberus or anything here. I may have missed that. We'll see. Boss bleeder going in. Make infiltrating and exfiltrating a bit of a pain in the ass, but eh, not too worried about it. As long as there's not a whole swarm of lost. Oh, there are pathfinders here. That's my mistake. What the fu- Oh, God! What the fuck?! Oh, Chrysalid Hive Queen. Jesus Christ, it's built like a house. So, the Queen's a ruler with 170 health. Freezing spit. Oh my god, okay, um... That's... Oh. Oh my. Oh no. Rippers and Swarmers. We've been spotted. Uh... Oh my. We're chaining together all these activations. I guess the whole map's hot now. That's fun. Ugh. Alright. Alright, fine. Fine. But at least we know where the thing is. 170 health and all the armor in the world. Christ. Well, at least things are going to remain interesting. I'm pretty sure we're not going to take her out really easily. What did you hit? Huh. Well, we are going to deal with the Hive Reinforcements. Shouldn't be too bad. Fire Sniper Rifle? Oh, oh crap, I gave her the wrong rifle entirely. Rot row. Okay, uh, we're going to have to get creative with how we want to handle this problem. Chosen sniper rifle. We have the ability to just start throwing out these rippers. Which I think we're gonna have to do. We have the ghost grenade that we got from killing a chameleon a while back, so it's probably gonna be something we do. Let's reveal ourselves. Oh wow. Basic concealment. Does a whole lot for him, doesn't it? Uh, 60% chance to crit. Alright, fine. Infiltrator specialization. Is that just from him being killing uncovered targets? Undying loyalty brings him back, of course. Alright, let's check our specialization again. I thought that just let him drop back into uh, stealth a lot more easily. Cooldown reduced each time you get a hit and by uh, one when he kills a target. Okay. Shots between the loss are guaranteed to do lethal damage. Hmm. That would be a headshot and kill him, but I don't know if it would trigger the headshot or not. So, to be safe, I think we are going to uh, drop into our tactical cloak. And that'll be all we're going to do right now. Alright, uh... How are we handling this? Alright, let's take any 100% chance shots we have. Shield and a shotgun, that's fun. Motion earned. 
once they get their uh, base specializations. Jesus, do you see that shielding? I wouldn't be afraid to throw him at the the queen. Who's keeping score? All right. Uh. All right, buddy, man. I need to. Come on. Put him over there to deal with that, and we'll bring. Ross over here. That's relatively close to both of these swarmers. 91. That's fine. I think. I don't know what he's getting out of that specialization. Something to do with shield wall, maybe? Let's take another gander at that. Let's see. Activating shield wall gain one non-movement action point. Really? Anything else? Hmm. Hmm. Just the extra damage, I suppose. That's not like it's bad or anything. 44. Got a 20 defense. Jesus lord. And the weapon range is not ideal. How much damage will this do? Just for so we're gonna probably spend her turn uh, dealing with that. 82% chance to hit, even with superior scope and height advantage. The defense and the weapon range making it uh, kind of low. We're still gonna go for the shot, I think. Three crap. No, that is not good. But we do have sabotage, guaranteed to hit. All we need to do is, uh, not two damage. Promotion earned. Sick. And then from here, we do not have any other uh, moves. Which means, what does that mean? It means we need to bring in the uh, captain up here. Yeah. No problem, boss. Don't need to do adrenaline rush. Not yet. So many crystals, so much damage. Missed the 90, not good. But at least he is still in cover. We're gonna pull her, and put her in full cover, way over here, I think. I don't know what she'll be able to see, but I do know it's better than the nothing she can see right there. We have Charles in position as well. Here is our uh, chosen man. Building a Rashi. That's pretty interesting. Let's see what he can do. Let's pull him to here. On we'll blast uh, this Ripper with the Rashi. Hopefully, he does not spend another. She does not spend another turn. Just some billion little dudes at us. That sucked. Real bad. Took up everything they could do. And I think from this position best thing he can do. Uh, well, there is the option to decimate, isn't there? Decimate would hit... Uh, we could make it hit both of these guys, and that could be a kill, but I think that it would just be fine. I don't know, the Bitter Frost won't hit him either, will it? Charge, bypass the Overwatch reactions, and hitting people nearby so it destroys them. And then the turn after that, I would reposition, teleport back. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, we're gonna decimate. We are gonna decimate them, and hopefully that'll be enough to uh, take them out. Crit killed one. Removed a bunch of cover over there. He is gonna transform, isn't he? Yep, I thought so. Well, that's why getting that to uh, connect. A one shot kill was so important. And we still have Charles over here to help out. What's he gonna do? I don't know. He'd risk revealing himself. 
get anything too uh, gutsy. I'm getting killed. But he has quite a lot of armor, so maybe that's an overreaction, and we should just take a shot and kill what we can. Do we lose a range bonus here? No, no, no range bonus problems. Whatever, let's go and kill the bio faceless. We don't want to get Illyrian poisoning. Promotion gain, nice. Alright, we got a foothold. Sick. Everyone over here is fairly tough, even if they're not the most accurate. Between the blast padding and everything else, so I think we're gonna be okay. Well, hello, Bio Lost. Gotta take him down before he triggers his uh, collar and makes us all have a really bad time. Seven. At least seven. Hold. Is that the toughest thing we've ever seen? I think that's tougher than Calvin with scaled blast padding and the multi fire eater suit thing. Ridiculous, holy crap. And we have the size zombie running up to do something. We have a lot of armor on all of our people though, so we're not particularly worried about it. Hell weave! Looks like she hit one of her own people. Is that every turn? Six health every turn is really gross. What else do you do, miss? Hmm. Looks like maybe she's stuck? And all she can do is call the hive. I'm not really clear on why she's not making any movement in there, but damn, is she big! <sighs> What's the play? I want a satellite strike the building. I think that's fair to do. Almost got. All right. What's our charge going to let us do? Probably going to cause him to transform if we do it. But maybe that's not all bad. Alright boss man, is it time for adrenaline rush yet? Want us to aim, last we'll a turn. Whenever you kill, or get hit. Alright, yeah. Looks like it's adrenaline rush time. 50! Oh yeah, he's suppressed. Right, who's suppressing you? Because we gotta take that off. Looks like him. Alright, Lewis. Let's get that charge going. I thought that's supposed to... Hmm. I guess not. He himself is revealed, but he does so much damage. I think that lowers the cooldown on his charge. I'm not 100% sure. Will it connect? Yes, it will. Nice. We're at all the suppressions. And he gets a movement. Let's take a look inside. Over here. Alright, that, that's better. Not too shabby. Just 
bleeding. Did not kill him. Well, that's a pain in the ass. Keep going. All right, we're just gonna keep uh, spammy actions into these folk. There we are. We want to get that cooldown and adrenaline rush down. That's what we're really here for. And the harbor wave could do a lot. Three to five won't kill, but it'll be cool as hell. Man. Yeah, that's that good stuff. Alright, let's uh, run up in the middle of them. I think. Shotgun better? Nah. Running up in the middle of them is probably going to be uh, far superior. And it lets uh, Ross get out of that hole he's in. Two! Good enough. Man, their defense is so high. Alright, let's get into here. Can we see anything inside of there yet? No, it does not look like it. That's okay. Let's just reload. We're just trying to find sight and figure out what we're doing. And these 60 suck. Alright, Charles, what you got? We got 76s. We're gonna go for them. We use the best bullets. Best bullets are not, though. There's just so many. Let's, uh, let's move here. And we'll just throw our uh, deployable into the middle of them. Why is our defense so high? Man. We're just taking every chance we get to connect. Looks like they're thawed, so maybe they'll get to work on the queen. You know, maybe. Oh, oh, maybe this is what we needed. Oh, he missed. He missed horribly. Never mind. I don't know what you are going for there, Slick. Looks like they're not prioritizing the queen. Which, even if they did, look at all that armor. I don't even know. Oh, hey. Alright, there we go. Shredded armor on the queen. That's what we needed to see. I wonder why she come, or came pre-damaged to the spot, though. Hmm. Taking some lead. Other people thawing out as well. And the queen is actually taking some damage now. Hooray and huzzah. Her regenerating a third of her health every time she escapes is going to be just awful. It looks like she did move that time. I don't know what the hell that is. Please don't tell me you summoned even more. <sighs> well, at least it's not... <clears throat> a million people just sucking up all of our ammo. God, that is absolutely begging for an air strike. I need to, I need to air strike that so bad. They're bringing in reinforcements. And then we just have casual high reinforcements, like it's been doing throughout the game. Mm -hmm. Healing secretions. Oh, that's... That's awful. I hate that. And so they can heal other more important chrysalids. While at the same time poisoning our guys. And we did not bring any medkits, I don't think. Kind of an oversight on my part, considering everything here almost is going to be trying to poison us. Even though the enemy purview was all bio stuff, I should have brought medkits. Oh. 
the SCP squad may have things made uh, made things a little bit harder for both themselves and the chrysalids. I don't know what their priorities are though. Shredded armor or not? Did she, did she grow some of her armor back actually? I think she did. Oh, life is pain. We may need to treat this, uh, like a xenomorph situation or something. Please don't transform. Yeah, I didn't get it. Oh, well, at least it was a free action. Alright, uh, round two. Engage the bullet. There we are. That feels better. Alright, that was Marauder action. Might be wise to go ahead and swap into a reload here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Looks like we do not have sabotage back just yet. Oh boy. Ashley, what you got for us, sweetheart? Anything? Our chance to hit on that. Your base aim is atrocious. We should have given you a shotgun. We can hail fire project all over these people as well. And at this point, I think that's the best idea. Let's uh, go from the side, get this 100%. Thank God for these hunter rounds. Got him. We have a grapple that we can use to get over to here. I think we are going to attach the cloak and grapple around. Start trying to uh, find a way in to deal with the enemy. From here, we should have some pretty decent sight lines on our foes. Roger that. Yeah, we can see everything we need to from here. What does that mean for him? I'm not sure. I think we want a burning shot with the queen. Get through that armor. Bleed, stun, mark, shred some armor. That was a, uh, a lot. So those hundred motion rounds are amazing. Now, what about our captain here? Because of shot can uh, screw him up real bad, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Is anyone? I think we're. Is the plan still to hit them with the hellfire projection? I think it might be. And that frees up our boy over here to. I think get here is fine. Maybe not, eh. Who even has the gun over here? I do see we're flanked by something, but I don't see anyone with a gun. It might not actually be someone with a gun, I suppose. Let's get over here, get him in this corner, tucked away, and he'll take the ladder next turn, probably. This would activate something, so we're not gonna do that. We'll just stick her here. I may have misspoke. Did I activate something anyway? Oh, the heavy turret. Okay. Oh, that's fair. Man, it's been a long time since we got a scamper. Everything always activating each other. On your order. Into there. Ashley. Let's see if we can get this guy out of here. We'll pull him back here to... Guard you since you're about to spend your turn uh, doing that. That one down there actually had some armor on it. Gross. I think we just do a basic reload and then we Hellfire Project. Those free reloads are going to be important, I'm sure, but not right now. Cinerary and plasma grenades. Yep, that's fine. Let's go for it. All right, the Infector is immune to such tactics. Hmm.
Can we go up even higher? Not yet. So we're going to full cover. And... We'll also drop Lewis over here. Maybe he'll get a better uh, teleportation angle on top of everything else. 67% chance to hit. Concussive shot. Extra damage, but no bigger chance to hit. We may have to run the boss man in here and just blow a hole in somebody. Seems doable. All right, come on, boss man. Seventy-nine. That's a shame. Adjusting aim. And then we're gonna come over here, get a little bit closer to the ladder, help out his movement just a touch. All right, let's see if the enemy can do anything to that queen that we so graciously marked and bled and stunned for them. Luckily, the distiller does not care and pierces all armor. Squishing drones. Uh, dead enemy is a dead enemy. I can identify with that. would prefer to see the uh, queen go down, though, before I have to enter that building. Going for the attack on our boy here. Woo! Didn't get to the shielding, but seven is a quite a lot. Armor generation. Pissing it off quite a lot. Acid burn. Bleeding as well. Down to six armor. I might need some help. Uh awesome. The chameleon tried to jump on him, and thanks to the frozen plating he had on, kept him from getting too uh, too screwed over. Oh. Oh, so that is poison. That freezes. That's... That's so much crazy worse. Oh boy, okay. So we have to cover the boss for this turn with our sniper and our drone. And... What else do we do while we're here? I really hate the Bio Zerker. Almost got him. Too close to the heat. He does regenerate health over time, though, so that's going to be helpful. 95% chance to hit whatever this is. Looks like it's the Hive Queen. Mm, is that worth it? I think we want to drop a Sabotage on something as well. If we have anything that can, uh... Yeah, actually, let's drop a Sabotage facing back at the uh, Infector here. Confused. Sabotaged. All the fun stuff. Then we will... Oops, sorry about that. That was the console. Yeah, let's just put more damage into the Queen. We have our priorities straight. Can you please connect with your shot? Not for the life of him. Alright, Lewis. I think we want to bio teleport you into here. Something tells me this is bad. For us, anyway. We're probably not far off of that being true. We have various grenades we can tuck into there if we can just get them to connect. We're gonna go for it. Let's throw plasma. Just getting raw shredding damage in there. Hmm. That was pitiful. Let's see. 
I think we have to deal with the chameleon. Alright, one more shot. Did it even finish its uncloaking animation before it got frozen? Alright, Ashley. Maybe we should have marked it so that the uh, thing could actually connect. Oh, the both snipers are using, uh, or both of these uh, team members are using some variant of a sniper gun. It's cute. Let's teamwork. We will I don't know what's gonna let uh, her two over there. Maybe just reposition, but it's better than wasting the action. Yeah, doesn't let her do anything except reload, which is. Ugh, God, I really wish that her grenade launcher worked. Ready to go. No dice on that. It's a 50. You know what? We're gonna go for it. If it misses, it still does 3 damage. Or 2, I guess. You dodge it? We got an 87 that we can connect with right here. Who's your ally? Lewis, huh? Keep that in mind for next time. Let's drop another blast onto the queen. The more armor we can get off of her, better. And then, do we try and shoot this chrysalid over here? 57. Ugh, oh, god. Yeah, I think we go for the bombardier shot. Shredded that armor off. 16. Big damage. At least the Infector's confused. I don't know what that's going to do for us, but it's a positive, so we're pretty happy about it. And the Bio Troopers are getting sick to death of these people, so, you know, understandably, there's a giant monster right there. That's a problem for everyone, and they are focused on shooting at these Bio guys. I would be frustrated as well. Immune. Not surprised to find that the Hive Queen is immune to such things. Queen is not going to be too happy, and it's going to do something on her turn that we're not going to like. Infector is... doing something. Alright, another Cressola down. Alright, Queenie. No longer... Burning from acid. That's a lot of health and armor she can regen. Jesus Christ, she's so loud. And then there's more of this. Oh God. Okay. I think Lewis's job is just going to be to be shooting as many pistol rounds into her as possible to keep that armor shredded down. Try to deck her. <laughs> Just straight armed her. It's kind of fun. On the move. All right, how do we handle this? Still going for the faceless, regenerating all of that HP all the time. I don't know what these pathfinders have against them. And of course, that just makes another face that's popped out of the woods. Ugh, man. I don't know if any one of these troopers were just regular people. You could at least throw a grenade into there, man. Come on. Like, if you're gonna be that dedicated to this, you should just lean into it all the way. Alright. Leader man's thought out. And he's got his adrenaline rush back. So we're going to trigger that and see if we can take care of as many of these uh, rippers and stuff as we possibly can. Did you see 
have one? Running dry. He's gonna have to spend an action reloading. But with any luck, he will be able to handle this entire uh, swarm that she called in. We're going to go. It looks like he might be able to. Definitely gonna handle all these rippers before we do anything else. You know that was good. We could have tried to hellfire it, but I feel like the hellfire might be better served for a wave that we don't have another answer to. Because with him right here, I mean, he's just so. There's a reason he's in charge of the squad. Did you see that one? I'll take these 99s all day. Hasn't missed yet. That's my man. Got a man just out of killing chaff. Respect dagger throw. Yeah. Not against the dagger throw, but I do want to get a little bit closer to them before I uh, whatever you say. finish whatever decision I wanted to go with. And we still have that one down beneath us as well, which is a bit of a problem. You know that was good. Alright, reload. Oh, yeah. And we are going to give that to uh, you to the squad leader. Let him uh, keep going with that adrenaline surge he's got. 82. It's pretty decent. Alright. Did you see that one? Yes, yes, we did. Gonna need to reload soon. Alright, Charles. Your job is not glamorous, but it is important. You keep firing at that queen, man. Everything you've got. That's two bars of health down on her, so it, it should start having an effect on uh, her morale pretty soon. Run uh, Lewis up in there. I think he is tough enough to handle a lot of what's going on. And I don't think anything's immune to bitter frost, so we're gonna throw one of those in there as well. Shred some armor off. Actually, drop one of these faceless for once. We are tired of seeing you, ma'am. God, but I would love to have her mount mist grenades and all of that stuff active right now. Alright, we have a swarmer back here somewhere. There you are, little bastard. He actually connected with a shot. Bless his heart. Now, let's uh, reposition our sniper over here. Does she have a shot? Does not like it. We could stick her in the corner, but that seems to be inviting a lot of uh, sorrow if we do that, so. I think what we'll do is we'll go around here and start trying to get other weirder angles okay. going for the uh, turrets that are on top. Or, you know, use Asimov to take one over. I just thought about that. That would make pretty good as well. Alright. Can you dudes focus on the queen? I have taken all of her armor off. Yes, yes, get that damage on her. I don't need you to kill her, I need you to convince her to run away. Although a kill would be sick. Engaging in force. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about you. Can't be doing that. Valerian poisoning on that one. Still up oh, there it is. Alright, what are you doing, lady? The acid burn and the bleeding. You are at half health. Looks like she's gonna try and create a portal to get out of here. Oh no, she is just straight leaving. 
no delay, huh? Well, I guess that's a thing. Altogether not bad though, because now we can just focus on the uh, severely injured people over here. Got it. She's gonna recover a chunk of her health, and that's that's gonna be a pain. But dealing with her, like just staying on her, and having to do 80 more damage before we can do anything else, that would have been much worse. But that uh create a portal and escape same turn is going to be a pain in the ass when we actually want to try and drop her. I just hope she doesn't show up for an attack retaliation mission. Although that would be kind of hilarious for her to show up uh, maybe with the advent warlock in the same mission. Let's see, you got a high defense. She's a defense of 15. That is pretty significant. I don't definitely don't want to charge him. Let's just take a Rashi, put a round into him. Man, he's tough. Respect. Did we just drop a decimate in this direction? Nah, probably not. We can't have the pistol shots to take him out. I think we just go for the tactical cloak, and then we reposition somewhere. We'll pull over here. I'm not really worried about that Biozerker anymore. On the move. All right, pull you here. And go ahead and get rid of you. Hostile neutralized position. And seven Hostile. doing so much work. Too bad he, like, super killed it, so he couldn't use his cover on the edges, but... I think we'll be fine. Let's see. Orders Pull you up here with your jump. Hmm. I think it's like over in here somewhere. So what if we just uh, huck this? We don't need to control it. We just need to remove it from the equation. Well, something's having a bad day. Christ in heaven, thank God. I'm so tired of dealing with that thing. Uh, can we connect with this? Ruin this berserker. Yes, yes we can. Good job, Ross. No, Lewis. Yeah, uh... Rust can use his shotgun and take care of uh, that thing over there. That would be fine. Did we just miss? No, we hit it. We just didn't hit the thing that would allow us to instantly drop it. That's Vest Inspire. Get a little bit closer. Here should be fine. Because we're also going to reactivate our Adrenaline Rush. If the game quits panicking. What are you calculating? Okay. Well, anyway. Let's drain my rush. Uh, take out this explorer. Very easy decision to make there. And I think we're going to go ahead and toss our dagger. 0% chance to hit these people, actually, so maybe not. Yeah, a reload on him is really important, so let's go ahead and do that. Shotgun to bear. Who needs a Rashi? How many is that now? We'll do that and we'll pull up and guard the boss. At least come up behind him and help try and guard him. And then we come over here to this. I have to figure out what to do about your grenades, man. I think it's because she doesn't have the launch grenade ability, maybe? 
that would make a lot of sense. Uh, I don't think the grenade launcher that you get from the hunter actually grants launch grenade, it just grants the ability to, uh... Oh. Uh, don't. Well, how about that? Uh, that's his buddy. That's his program. You don't want to mess with him. What was I saying? I was, uh, I'm always so entranced whenever that happens. It does sting. But we have a katana that we're about to bust out on these people on our way through, so. Not too bad, not too shabby. No kill on that one. No, I just noticed. I think everyone we give the katana to happens to be Australian. There we go. Guaranteed kill. Pretty good. Not too shabby. And then we run up to this full cover. We're still just trying to get out of here at this point. Moving to position. We could do a basic melee attack on somebody, but we're not going to worry about doing that just yet. Alright, we need to get some kills on you because we need you to level up. So let's see if we can connect with this chosen rifle. Even if we miss, I think it's a kill. But we connected, and damn did we connect. Big damage. Hair trigger, okay, even better. I think there may be an enemy way over there. I don't know if we can actually uh, ambush it. We'll try. And we have to start uh, moving this to the evac point because we cannot evac until it's also off the field. What are we going to do with you? Moving. I think we're going to try and gently uh, persuade this Pathfinder to stay in position. And then of course Lewis, he has enough armor and there are so few enemies that I don't have any uh, fears that he will get jumped on and killed. So. Stick that there. We may even get extra fresh and decimate someone, I don't know. Probably not. That's a fun idea. In 7, a lot tougher than I give him credit for. Oh, well. Man's about to have a very bad time. Pull over here. Be a little bit extra with our psychic powers. Come on, get the kill, sweetheart. Come on. There you go. And let's just start pulling everyone out of here. We'll put it, uh... Here works for me. Come on, everybody. Time to pile in. Well, other than her grenades not working, which we'll just have her toss them from now on, I suppose. Other than that, this is a really successful mission. I got really worried with the uh, roughly 10 billion chrysalids that kept popping up behind us every turn, but it appears I was overreacting. Alien activity, who? Order 
And then they are a packaged pair, so they will extract out together as well. I just kind of wish he would fold back up and go to her, into her pockets again somehow. That'd be fun. That's a fairly big facility. And the destruction of this is going to release the queen into the world. Give our N7 people the XP they desperately needed. And uh, also reduce the alien force level again. Precious Illyrium crystals, nice. And due to their immense amount of shielding and the blast padding scaling and other th factors like that, the N7 are managing to keep up with uh, the other squads. A recent failed attempt by XCOM criminals to siphon vital... Alright, back home. What was that simultaneous finger gun? <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Oh man, look at all these promotions we got. Hell yeah. Mm, we're gonna follow the path that goes directly down their stuff. 30, thank god. Guaranteed to crit, but not critical hit. Ignore shields, shreds all armor, and detonates at carried explosives. Can only be, okay. Only be used on carried explosive targets. That's still absolutely incredible. Infiltrator, let's see. Stealth Strike, Wall Cloaked, Attack an Enemy in Melee, ignoring all the armors and shield of targets for main cloak. Interesting. So we gotta give him a shank, is uh, what I'm hearing from this. Melee weapon mastery. You know, we have to get some momentum. Ooh, okay. I mean, you rocking that pistol, but you don't need to kill someone with a knife and keep rolling while ignoring shields and armor. The longer this game goes on, the more powerful you're gonna be. Commander. Uh, Still in chief, explosive mastery. Hmm. Looks like he's going to be rocking a lot of plasma grenades. Or just, you know, something in general that explodes. We have a lot of AP. Damn. Didn't use that soon. Heavy strike, special melee attack with your shield that will stun and disorient. Automatically activate shield wall after the strike. Wow. Uh, get in there, beat him down. I love that. And this will be great later. Plus, in. Wow. And now we finally unlocked some biotic powers. She will be going for just warp for now, I believe, because that's what she gets cooldowns off of these for. There is an argument for also taking a warp shot, but nah. We're gonna save the AP for other people, especially since every one of these costs like 30. It's just, uh, it's a bit much for me. Thank you, but no thank you. Your team did a commendable job in destroying the alien's facility, Commander. Thanks, man. Their efforts towards the Avatar project. A lot of people so shaken by that, but by your incursion. absolutely necessary. Now we have to worry about that queen showing up, though, and that means from now on we're going to be a little bit more uh, aware of how we do these sort of things. And by that I mean sending out squads of... Uh, slightly undertrained or underpowered soldiers that makes me nervous at least we have these guns right here I love these I kind of want to get shot down by a UFO just so we can use them that's probably uh, not a good healthy mental status but eh, it's what I it's what I got hmm let me cover an armor have reduced resistance right you know what? let's go ahead and grab this guy I want to take that Viper out there soon she seems like uh, but also start her with more focus and should we get infiltration? Can't see him while concealed. Yeah, just get him all the way in there. But anyway, I was going to say that we're probably going to start trying to use the Viper soon. Because um, we want to we want to start diversifying into another alternative team. I want to have uh, three to four teams in cycle of uh, units that alternate. Obviously, we have all of our uh, in seven people down here. They had to deal with a lot of bugs, so you know, no hate on... Uh, the reaction we got there, but we need to start training up. Let's see. Obviously, the le the rest of our operatives, because they're all tough in their own way, but they could all use a boost. Our Psy operative is slowly getting ridiculous. He's got a lot of abilities at this point. Soul Storm, Null Lance, and Void Rift. He could probably uh, be devastating in and of himself. We have an additional spark for backup. We, we have options, but we have a lot of missions to do, so we're going to have to be really careful with how we do them. 
But I think that's going to be all for now. Uh, we spent a lot of money just now, but our income's enormous, so that's not too bad. But anyway, thank you for dropping by, thank you for checking out the video, and thank you for watching to the end. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please consider leaving a like and a comment about, you know, th just the whole YouTube thing. It helps out. It helps me get noticed so I can keep doing this, make more stuff. I think I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if it's up at this point, but I am planning on getting this mod list published in a Steam collection. Someone's been asking for that. Multiple people have been asking for that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully it's going to be out either today or tomorrow, but uh, it is... It's huge, and I'm going to preface with your computer might not be able to run it, and it definitely won't unless you follow all the steps. So here's my official uh, stance on that. If you don't read the instructions and things break, that's on your head. Uh, but... Anyway, hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you next time.